Well, I've been busy uh, doing scratch built spacecraft and working on the Brett from Alien Bust. And all the while, I've been missing doing some Games Workshop stuff. Um, and uh, not helped by the fact that um, there's been some really good games at my local shop. So, uh, yeah, I've had a hankering to do more uh, to my uh, Gits army. So uh, when I was in there yesterday, I picked up a box of these. Um, I've had them before. And um, just like with the Fellwater Trogoths, the trick is to not replicate what I've already done regarding arms, poses and heads. And that's not going to be too difficult head-wise because you've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got nine different heads, so I've still got six to choose from that I haven't used before. You haven't got so much variation in the uh, in the arms like this one here. You've got two arms holding a loft. I've done that one which is this fella, all right? But this time I'm gonna go for that. Let's see, it's a um, broken off head of a, of a um, dwarf statue, all right? So yeah, so we're gonna have the variation there. The other variation, with my squeaks, I'm going colorful and I'm trying to make them all different colors. And while, you know, I really like people painting these fellas in purple and yellow, uh, a guy in my local shop yesterday, he had some of these and they were um, a really striking lavender and they're brilliant. But I'm thinking with my all my Trogoths are going to be a variation of green, all right, um, <clears throat> with red bellies. Uh, the variation that I can do on these, though, is, <coughs> excuse me, they have a rocky... Uh, hide so I can change up the the coloring of greys but also the crystals um, all three that I've done so far have this like blue white crystal um, I think with these ones I'm going to uh, each one's going to have a cr no two of them are going to have a crystal yeah um, the other one's having that dwarf head isn't he the other two are going to have crystals but but different color crystals so I'm going to start snipping, start gluing, start choosing poses and heads, and I will come back. Just like with the Fellwater Trogos, it's great fun. You get three bodies, and basically to stop yourself uh, having an army that all look the same, you have to keep an eye on what you're doing regarding heads and arms and uh, try not to replicate things. So in the case of this fellow that I got here, who's got his natty crystal, um, you'll see there he's got a skull on his belt and he's got bits of bodies hanging off on his belt, okay? And I wanted to show that off. In With him in that pose, um, it's not that noticeable, is it? Because both arms are down. So I knew that for that body, I would have to... Um, uh, get his arms up so there we go his arms are up and now we can see that he's got all these body bits as a belt all right different head as well I haven't used that head before um, I have used these arms though for the one who's holding the crystals but there's no way around that if you want him to be holding that uh, that statue um, you've got to use those arms so that's number one. This fella. All right. So this body here. Um, club in one hand. Goblin in the other hand. All right. So what I've done there with that body is I've used an arm that I haven't used before. So he's got a, a goat or whatever the heck that is. Uh, slung over his shoulder and he's got a well it's a rock but I'm going to paint it to look like a crystal I want I, I want some color um, different color crystals so there's a go oh yeah and he's got an arrow 
stacking him. And again, an all new face. All right. And then lastly, we have the holding aloft the rock with the crystals and the worm and the baby bird just about to eat it. So, yeah, he had his arms aloft. This body had his arms aloft. So logically, then you've got to have that body with the arms down. So and, oh, so, and here we go. So that's a new arm not used that arm before, but I have used that arm before, right? You, you, you're given plenty of heads, but not that many arms. Um, so I've used that arm already. That's that arm there. All right. Is that arm. But what I'm going to do just to make a difference between that one and that one is that one. I painted the head of it to be like a granite or you know a rock this one is going to have a crystal so yeah these three new rock guts are going to be new because this one's going to have a statue head this one's going to have a crystal this one's going to have a crystal but unlike what i did first time out which was my first attempt at painting crystals with contrast paints these are going to be two new colors so i'm thinking I've got blue here, so maybe a red, maybe a green. I don't know. Um, next up is get some uh, skin down. So just like my recent Fellwater Chogoths, um, I've had a go at making sure that the body um, had different arms and head and neck to the, uh, the ones I've already got. Um, <clears throat> and I was toying with um, just changing things up a bit as well by um, maybe, you know, having some extra colour on the face or the belly. And I did try that, but it, it wasn't working too well. So this is the basic uh, way I'm going to go. I've tried getting a bit of variation by um, they're all um, painted in a, in a base coat of Warboss Green. But I've tried to get a bit of variation on it um, by putting a shade coat over three different shade coats. So, apologies, the light's not that good. But this is Warboss Green washed with Beltan Green, which is a nice brightish green. And this fella here, you see, is a lot darker. And he's a lot darker because for him, I've used Coella Green Shade, right? Um, and then finally, the last one, here he is. You'd think he'd be the darkest of all because he is washed with known oil, but he's actually turned out a bit lighter to the middle one. So that's those three. Um, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to change what I do. I like the color scheme that I do on my uh, Chogos, and I don't want any variation really. Uh, the only variation will be in the deep re recesses once I'm done with the next few steps. So I'm trying to differentiate them um, even more in the color schemes. So the guy on the left there, um, he's got my usual color scheme that I do um, with regards dry brushing on the uh, the Trogos, which is uh, Nurgling Green, Niblet Green, then I go up through the oranges and end in, in is it Astaroth Red, particularly um, down at the bottom of the belly. All right, so he's got that and a green nose, got the orange highlights on his ears and in up on the fingers. This fella um is the greens an only orange uh you see he's got an orange nose um no red and that's because he's going to be having a red crystal and i didn't want to detract from that red with other red on the figure and then lastly yeah that fella he's my um my usual color scheme that's all the colors in um including the red nose all right and i'm thinking i'm, I'm still thinking maybe purple for his crystal.
Right, cracking on. Um, these are lovely models. I, I, I bought this kit not even a week ago, and, and I'm at this stage already. You know, they're, they're a delight to do. I, I, I like doing Games Workshop figures in that um, the other things I do, you know, the spacecraft that I make and um, the Brett bust that I'm painting at the moment, they're quite involved. You have to sit down and you have to commit to, you know, a period of time to do one part on it. But with these, you can, you know, just pop along, put a bit of paint down. Uh, you can be in there a couple of minutes and you've advanced it. So, um, yeah, this is where I am with them at the moment, this fella. I've, I'm almost done with the skin, uh, sorry, the rocky carapace thing. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, just picking out all these spots in white, um, ready to uh, put some, um, you know, colour over that. Um, I don't know if you can make out, but what I've been doing, I'm prepping for the, the, the crystal effect. Um, and what I've done is... Um, I've painted a very, um, the, the bits that are going to be crystal, I've painted a very light grey and then highlighted with, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a white, a layer paint by Games Workshop, which is very bright white. So I've done that. Hopefully that will help with the, uh, with the colouring. Um, yeah, just doing all the wooden bits, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we're getting along. He's got a nice gold medallion, which is... Uh, the helmet of someone or other. I haven't done the teeth yet, but I've done the, the lips. I haven't picked the eyes out, but I've done the eye sockets. All right, so that's that fella. Okay. <clears throat> this fella, I've got an interesting challenge. Same thing as, as the last one, all right. Um, but here's a phrase I never thought I'd say. I've never painted a goat before. Um, so there's the goat thing. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with him. I, um, I'm thinking of keeping him in fleshy tones because that's a complete contrast to everything that's happening with the Trogoth. All right, so that's him. Last one, um, same thing again, just picking things out. Um, and with that head of the Dwarf Lord or whatever he is, I've gone, gone, gone. I've gone with um, Tamiya Buff. For that because it's a nice matte color and i've washed it with agrax earth shade and i'm in the process of highlighting that and the reason i've gone with that color is his counterpart here all right i had done the rock in gray so i just wanted again just to have a bit of difference all right um yeah back to the the stone this is where i am on the new ones i'm using artificial light today because yet again the weather's horrible um that's where i am on the new ones and that's what i did on the old ones and i, I when i did these i was kind of like following what games workshop was suggesting with this like bluey tint stone and i'm not sure i'm keen on that anymore so what i think i'm going to do is on these ones, I'm not going to go blue, right? I'm going to keep them more like that to keep away from that. Can you see the difference in the two? Yeah, there you go, right? So, but what I thought I would do with all my originals, right? And this, these are they, is um, use some of that medium stuff with some paint. And I'm going to glaze these, each one individually, just just so, number one, to break up the blueness, because I don't like it anymore, um, and the flatness of that, and just get a bit more colour, and just vary it. So I want them to all look like they've come out of the same mountain or the same cave system, all right? But I don't want them all to look exactly the same. So I think I'll come back. Um, next time I come back, I think... Uh, I'll be done with the six. And here they are all done. Um, got turquoise on my hands at the moment, so I, I'm, I'm going to gingerly pick these up to show them off. So, uh, yeah, had great fun. By the way, there's, there's more. There you go. There, there's more going on on that red than uh, the camera would suggest. But, uh, 
Yeah, I like the idea that the uh, the trolls they'll just pick up anything that they find uh, to use as a weapon, including precious gems. They just see it as another rock, um, and I'm going to use that as a weapon. Um, so yeah, had great fun doing these. I I, I really like the, the colourfulness of the the Gitz army, and um, yeah, so that's that brings my rock guts up to six. And uh, I wouldn't mind doing some more. I think three more. I'm just about exhausted all the poses and weapons. Although having said that, each time I do three, I'm left with some spare arms. So uh, I might be able to make up multiples or something or other. But uh, yeah, I had great fun with these. Um, tempted to do some more. But I'm also tempted to do some fell waters. And... Uh, yeah, very soon I'm going to be starting a spider army. So, I don't know, I'll come back at some point with something else gets related. <laughs>